So we're going to look at this example again. This is a pretty straightforward example. Part A now, we have to find the type of relation. So you can see that 3 and A, 3 maps to the same image 9, and 2 and A, 2 maps to the same image 4. So this definitely is a many to one relation. For part B, you have to use the function notation to write a relation between set A and set B. Some students find the part B here is a bit tricky. Either they do not understand the function notation or they can't find the relation between set A and set B. To find the relation between set A and set B, you just need to do some simple analysis. You can see here 3 maps to 9 and minus 3 maps to 9. The only thing you can do is 3 square, you have 9, and minus 3 square, that is minus 3 times minus 3, you have positive 9. To double confirm the relation, you look at 2, 2 square is 4, and A, 2 square is also 4. So you can see the relation between set A and set B is, you get the element in set A, you square it, then you will get the element in set B. So using function notation, f of x will be equal to x square. That is, if you substitute a 3 inside 3 square, you will have 9, that is an image. You may also write the function notation like that, f of x equal to x squared. It's up to you which one you prefer. So make sure you understand the function notation and able to find the relation between set A and set B. This is quite a common question SPM. And you don't need to be worried because normally the relation is actually quite simple. You either have a relation like x squared, x plus 3, x minus 1 and so on.